So in this video, we are going to have a look at uh, something else that uh, we have been requested to, uh, to cover. And this time we're going to have a look at something in Lightroom and this is going to be sharpening. Sharpening is something that, uh, you know, it's one of those things that everybody's got their own way of doing it. Some people actually do it in Photoshop, some people actually do it in Lightroom. Some people prefer to take it out to something like Nick Filters. Um, high pass in Photoshop is a very popular way of doing sharpening, but tonight, well, I say tonight, it's tonight for me. You may be watching it in the morning, but right now we're going to have a look at Lightroom and we're going to see how to sharpen an image um, in Lightroom. So let's have a look at the computer and uh, let's get going straight away. So, um, oh, we're going to use a Windows PC tonight, I think. So uh, we're using uh, a Windows PC running uh, Lightroom Creative Cloud. Um, this is the, the classic uh, version of Lightroom, as they now call it. And on screen, we have a image of uh, the Angel of the North, which uh, was taken um, I don't know, a few a few weeks ago when I was uh, up that way. We've done some very basic editing, as you as you can see uh, in in this image. Um, but what we are going to look to look at this time is, as I say, sharpening. So we're in the develop module, um, and if you don't have the develop module, you just come along here and and click develop, and then we're going to head down here to this to this detail um, panel. We're going to open that one up. Now, we see a box here that's got lots of information about sharpening. And sharpening is really very straightforward in Lightroom. You, you just basically you pick up this slider and move it around. And as you move it, it, it applies sharpening to the image. And if we've got this little preview here, which let's just move that to the side. Um, we can kind of see as it, as it, as it gets sharper. Um, if we just zoom into this screen here, uh, let's, let's go on to the, uh, the angel's head up there. Um, there's a bit of a halo on this actually. Let's just have a quick look if I can get rid of that extremely quickly with a bit of uh, chromatic, chromatic aberration reduction. Uh, no. Um, bad image, Will. Bad image. Anyway, we'll carry on. Um, hopefully this will uh, demonstrate the, the sharpening. So we can just see there, if I take the sharpening down, it does go a little bit um, un more unsharp, and if I take it to the right, then you can see that um, things do get do get sharper. But that's a global adjustment, and if we just zoom out, it, that will be sharpening everything it can in the image. And we don't want to sharpen everything in the image. So the first thing that I always, always do when I am sharpening an image in Lightroom is use this masking button down the bottom. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hold on to our masking button. We're going to press our mouse key down and then we're going to press our alt key. And when we press our alt key, we've done this before where, where the screen goes white or black and then things change as we move the slider. Um, so this time we're going to um, hold down the alt key and as we move, thing, as we move the, the slider to the right, we'll start to see the picture appear in front of us. Now what's, what's happening here is Lightroom is looking at the image and working out what to sharpen. Basically, anything that's white is going to get sharpened, and anything that's black is not going to get sharpened. So if we go leave that mask right on the left hand side, and it's a full white picture, everything is going to get sharpened. If we move it right to the right, and pretty much nothing's going to get sharpened, just a very few um, sort of outlines of, uh, of, of uh, detail there in the image. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it to a point, I think actually, we're going to get some of those veins in the arms uh, sharpened, some of the some of the bushes at the back, um, not too much of the cloud. I'm going to put it about there, about 70, and I'm going to let go of the mouse. So this is going to tell us how much the sharpening is going to be impacted on our image. So if we now go back to the amount um, slider, and once again, we're going to hold down our Alt key, it turns it to black and white, which is just a little bit easier to... Um, just to see what we're doing but you know normally I would go to about 50 60 um, uh, on the on the sharpening and that's that's kind of where I like to leave it now the radius um, slider which is next um, this is the size of the sharpening area around the edges um, in the detail so the default value is, is normally about one and that's and that's what we're on um, here at the moment and um, and that means that Lightroom will apply sharpening over one pixel around the edge that it's detected. So if we just go back to that masking view, we can see the edges there that it's detected because they're, they're all in white. So all around those edges, 
Lightroom is going to apply sharpening to a radius of one pixel. Now you can increase that radius a little bit or you can reduce it. And once again, if you press the Alt key down, you'll get a bit more of a detail. So you'll be able to see where that sharpening is being applied. Now for me, um, one, is, one is about right. Sometimes you can push it up to you know, maybe one and a half, two, um, sometimes a bit more on architectural pictures. Um, if you're doing a portrait, then, you know, faces and things, you might want to just take it down a little bit to 0.8 or something like that. But, but one is, is normally um, a, a nice enough place to leave that. The next slider down is detail. This confuses a lot of people. The detail slider kind of controls the amount of sharpening on the edges or the details of the image. Um, so a small value like zero, um, so if I move that to the left and we've got a, a value of, of nothing, um, sharpens large edges. Well, I'll move it to the right and you get a hundred um, and that will, will, uh, will sharpen um, the smallest edges. Oh, where do you leave this? And it's very much a point of personal preference. To me, I, I kind of do leave this one sort of, oh, I've opened a window there, sorry about that. Um, I kind of do leave it around the, uh, the sort of, around this sort of area here. And you can press the Alt key down. You can, once again, you can see the impact that that's having on the edge, on the image. So let's just zoom into um, that area there. Um, and we can just have a look and see what's happening with that. Uh, move it to the left, that, those um, details you can see have just gone a little bit fuzzier. And move it to the right, they, they do get stronger. But as we, as we move to the right and get stronger, you'll notice there's quite a lot of noise now starting to appear in that image. So. We need to push it back so there's uh, there's not so much noise around and <laughs> surprisingly that's around about 10 which is where it was um, kind of at the start so the radius and the detail sliders are the two that I do tend not to uh, not to move too much maybe very fractional moves to the left or right but nothing drastic on there nothing like uh, moving up into the 50s like we have the, uh, the the amount of sharpening or the masking which is sat on 70. So that is really how to sharpen an image. That image is probably as sharp as it's going to get in Lightroom now. So let's have a quick look um, using the, uh, the, the toggle switch here. Let's turn that sharpening off. And then let's turn that sharpening back on again. And it, it, is, it is quite subtle. Let's, let's just zoom it in there um, into that area there. And let's just turn it off again. And you can see it, 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 just, it just lose its sharpness there. And as we turn it back on, you can see it just regains that sharpness. Um, so that, in, in, in simple terms, is sharpening. We, we hope you like that, that video. It's quite short. There's not, there's not a lot to it. There's, there's only three, three or four sliders there in the sharpening panel. Um, but they are really straightforward to use. And a lot of people now are starting to move to Lightroom to do all their sharpening. And you can see why, because it's really easy. And that masking tool just allows you to slide it to the right and just pick on the areas that you, that you really want to sharpen, i.e. The, the bits that need to be sharp. If you've liked this image, um, sorry, this is an image, it's not an image, it's a video. If you've liked this video, then um, do all the usual things. There's, there's some little thumbs up buttons down here. Just give them a pick, one of those, click press, uh, leave us some comment or down here on the, uh, on the, on the right hand side, um, you can uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, we will see you um, next time.